Hello, I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony IV and Time in the kitchen. And today I'm starting the, the video here outside. It is 81 degrees and it's absolutely gorgeous. So why not get a fresh breath of air and uh, get out of the house for a few minutes. I'm uh, social distance from anyone who may be walking about. So this is a good, good, good thing. And this is a good time to be outside. Now, let me tell you what I'm doing today. In the kitchen, we are going to be participating in a collaboration that is dealing with our coffee, our beverage bar. Now, my um, coffee bar is really strictly coffee. And uh, we are going to jazz it up for spring. Now, I made an early change. That was when I kind of got rid of all the, the, the more wintry types of things. And I thought, well, why not make this one really more Eastery? So we are going to take a look at the coffee bar and we are going to add some things that will make it special and definitely say, Hello spring. So join me in the kitchen. Let's go. Today we're participating in a collaboration that's called the Spring Coffee Beverage Bar Collaboration of 2020. And uh, this particular collaboration is hosted by two beautiful ladies. One, Kenya of Kenya's Decor Corner, and the second is Kimberly Davis of Diva Designing on a Dime. Both of these are foxy ladies who you will enjoy visiting their site. Each year and each season, these ladies have a designing of your coffee bar or your beverage bar for the season and it gives you an opportunity to be able to share to share and show some of the things that you love to do. So without further ado, we are going to put together a coffee bar. Now, before I get into that coffee bar, I'm gonna show you a picture of what mine looked like prior to this vignette, or, or this collabor collaboration. So, you can see the cardinal and see how cute he is but you know what it's time for things to change and with everything going on let's brighten it up let's make it ready for easter and i'm ready to go all right on the kitchen table i have placed a um, two-tiered tray and what I'm going to do with this two-tier tray, you'll see that I've placed a bow and I've left it with kind of long tails. I've also added a hello spring, which uh, I had a little bit as a part of the, the other vignette. But now today is spring. So certainly we want to welcome spring brightly. In my uh, little pot that I have here that's full of uh, greenery, I've added some little pink flowers because I'm going to bring pink out in this vignette. So I've put that pot in, and you're gonna see off to the side that I have the necessary things. This container is the container that I keep my cream. And I purchased this at TJ Maxx, and I tell you what, it is wonderful. It holds just enough cream to last for over a week and uh, with the amount of cream that we'd like to use. And so uh, then next I have my favorite coffee pot. I really wanted that coffee pot to go on top, but guess what? It didn't work. So we're going to put the coffee pot right there. And inside of the coffee pot are packets of sugar. So that's where I'm going to keep them. They're kind of, they're out of sight, but yet and still they're there and handy for us to use for coffee. Now, let's look at some other items that we're going to add. Next, I have these nice Easter egg napkins that I've folded in half, and I'm going to put them on the top level. 
and I want them to stand almost like a sail. And I want you to see, I'm going to use this bunny. Is he not cute? Look at the flowers that's on that bunny. He's going to stand and hold those napkins in place. So that's the perfect spot for him because we don't want those napkins to fall. So let's see what else we can add. Ah, he has a mate and we need a place for that mate to go. So there's the second bunny. Now I had a problem getting that second bunny to stand sometimes, so I had to play with it. But I do have those other two bunnies that I used in the other vignette. And after all, <clears throat> it's all about Easter, so we need more bunnies. We can't get enough bunnies. So there's but the, the one, two, third bunny. And he needs a friend, so we have the other bunny, and they're carrying on a conversation talking about spring. So I want to be able to get a little more color in, and so I'm taking the tail of the bow and just kind of crinkling it up and putting it in between the two. Not that it's really interfering with their conversation, but it just adds a little more color. Actually, this side of it, most people won't see. So let's add a little greenery in amongst the bunnies. And uh, it gives them their place because really that's more of the side of the vignette uh, for this particular uh, coffee bar. So that's the side. And um, let's see what else we can add. Oh, I have these, these flowers. I have a little... Um, grouping of greenery that I got from Walmart. I cut a few pieces off and used it somewhere else. And so I'm going to take some of those same pink little flowers that I used over in the pot and I'm going to find a spot for them. So I'm putting those in and you noticed I had to move the bunny because I needed room and then I'll work the rabbit in so that hopefully he'll stay in place. So let's just work with that greenery and get it all turned around and everything where it's supposed to be and then sit the rabbit in. So there we go. And my camera just kept getting in the way. Now what I forgot to show you was you'll see off to the side that I had a jar and that's the jar where I'm going to keep the spoons for coffee. And I'm going to place it right over by the creamer, in between the creamer and the pot of flowers. And you'll see that in the picture, but I didn't put it in at this point, so that's coming. So I'm just kind of sliding it around, <coughs> excuse me, so you can see what it looks like if it needed to turn. Now, you know what? If we weren't sheltering in place, I would probably go out and look for a Lazy Susan to go underneath of this tear tray. So as soon as I can get out, guys, you know, I'm going to find a Lazy Susan that can just go right underneath. And then that way, our little coffee tear tray will be able to turn very easily. So I'm going to continue to show you what this looks like and then I'm going to put it in place and get it right over there by the coffee bar, by the coffee pot, where it needs to go. And today is spring. Hello spring and it's a gorgeous day here in Virginia. 85 today. So here we are, we're at our, at our coffee bar. You'll see our Easter blessings and a little bunny over there waiting. And the coffee cups are ready for us to have coffee. So I'm very carefully taking the tear tray over. And as you can see, I had a couple of things that toppled a little bit. So I'm just going to make those adjustments and get them back into place. Then I'll bring you in closer so you can see what it looks like up close. See how everything stays in place. 
because I'd like you to see what it looks like when you're coming in from that door to the side that leads to our garage and that's where we typically come in and out of. This is the view that everyone who walks up to the coffee pot, this is the view they're going to see. The welcome and hello of spring, the beautiful flowers that are there with the pink, and all we need now is a full pot of coffee ready to go. What do you think? Well, certainly, I want to say to Kenya and to Kimberly, thank you very much for giving us an opportunity to enjoy working on our coffee, on our coffee bar and to be able to share it with others. I love this opportunity. I love visiting your channels, and I hope those of you who visit today will continue to come back and to be a part of the Ebony, Ivy, and Time family. So, in the morning, when I'm starting up the coffee, look at what we're going to see. I can't wait. I send blessings to you and your family. I am thankful for my subscribers, both new and the faithful subscribers that I have. I hope that you will have a safe, and wonderful spring. I pray that while you're sheltering in place, that you will continue to love on your family as well as love on yourself. So take time and please do that each and every day. Blessings to you and yours.